Hey, how are you doing? How are you, Scott? Very well, thank you very much. Very well. Season two of Schmigger Dude, I love, I love this show, and it feels like it felt like the first season came out kind of the right time for the world, given what was going on at the time. And now you're back for season two. Quickly, did you get a sense that this had kind of landed, that this this had become something that people really, really took to? Well, I think you nailed it by saying the show came out like at a time when there was no live theater being able to be performed. And so we felt like we were making this little niche treasure that we put out into the world and hope people would find. And luckily they did. So we were able to get a season two. You know, I feel like this show is right up my personal alley. Like this brings my love of musical theater and television comedy and puts them all together. I get to lovingly bring comedic aspects to the musical theater characters and 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 musical theater roles that I I relish and treasure. Um, and then the story is told through Cinco's heart. So it's like kind of amazing that Cinco has this great knowledge and love of musical theater that he's able to um, intertwine. I, I, our first day of season two, we shot this, the opening scene where all of the, you see who are, group of actors, what roles they're going to be playing in season two. And I think it starts with Alan Cumming with a bloody apron and a cleaver all the way to me in fishnets and garter belts <laughs> and jazz hands. And you're sort of like, wait, how is this all going to work? And yet it somehow does. I was just talking to Titus and he he was talking about the, the, the obviously there's a lot of musical theater history, but the pull of this particular period for so many people can you can you do you understand that as a performer that this this period has such a special place in people's heart and gave birth to some really iconic um, characters and, and stories? Absolutely, because it, it did for me. So I hope it does for m many other people. And I think we're of the the audience that is the generation watching it was heavily influenced by these musicals in pop culture, like you're saying. I'm I'm curious to maybe later analyze what it is about those musicals that made such a seismic shift. You know, it's the first time musicals didn't have happy endings where everyone wasn't happy-go-lucky, which obviously is the theme in season two, that they have to find happiness to get back home and to be able to leave Chicago. Um, but I think it's because of the great influences of the time, the Bob Fosse's, the Michael Bennett's, they had such an indelible influence on musical theater and, and made that seismic change. So I love that we hopefully get more seasons and can move on to other decades of musicals because it's an, it's an endless plethora of comic delight. Indeed it is. Indeed <laughs> it is. Uh, so lovely to talk to you. Thank you so much. I do hope you get to revisit Jenna one day because I miss Jenna. Oh, thank her, you. I, 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 I love and treasure her, her comedy delights that she gave me. So thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Yeah.